A letter a day to number 10, 13th of March 2014. Dear Mr Cameron, When the DWP denies that job centres refer people to food banks, but only signpost the existence of food banks to people suffering hardship, these are shabby words from shabby people who refuse to engage with reality for the sake of self-serving political posturing. The real signpost is that political ideology comes first and politicians never, ever apologise or admit they've got something wrong. It's a grand deception, a great elaborate pretense of infallibility, the bulletproof vest of moral pygmies, government without responsibility, the practice of deniability no matter how implausible. The very best example of this is Prime Minister's Question Time, the weekly juvenile boys' own banter party, which bears as much relationship to the real world as a Barbie doll. Instead of addressing the proliferation of food banks, hunger, deprivation and acute distress, what we get is smug, self-righteous posturing in which the real issues of hardship in the real world are completely absent. When people like Dennis Skinner, Glenda Jackson and Michael Meacher attempt to remind Parliament that there are real-world issues to be faced and addressed, their questions are treated like cricket balls to be batted away, often with sneering, mocking, patronising remarks because they offend the faux dignity of the smugly self-righteous. Ian Duncan Smith does not want any link to exist between his policies and hardship because he wants to promote the self-serving lie that people are better off for having less, that sanctions are incentives, and that he's making life better for the millions he oppresses. Of course it's bullshit, just as Arbeit Macht Frey over the gates of Nazi concentration camps was bullshit. Work no more makes people free than leisure enslaves people to indolence. You say... We've always said we want people who want to work hard and get on. Which begs the questions, what do you and Clegg pay your foreign nannies to enable them to get on? And get on and do what? Live? Become rocket scientists, artists? Manage their families and just have a decent quality of life? I'll lay a penny to a pound that you pay your nannies the minimum wage. The so-called elites love foreign nationals as a source of cheap labour. The notion that there is no one in Britain capable of looking after your children is absurd in the extreme. As ever, it is all about looking after your own self-serving interests. Of course, the welfare of your children is important, just as the welfare of the poor you are destroying is important. It is vitally important that people eat and you and your government are not helping them do that. Quite the reverse. Keith.